Hello and welcome back for another video. Today's video is another homeschooling curriculum video. I'm gonna share with you today my choice for my first graders math curriculum. So last year we did the Good and the Beautiful Level K Math. And while I think it's a great program, I don't think it's lacking anything, um, very thorough and um, comprehensive, uh, it just it wasn't a good fit for us. Um, the manipulatives kit is really awesome and I thought it was gonna be great for us, but you know, as you go along in your homeschooling journey, you learn kind of what works for you and what doesn't. And I found the manipulatives to be kind of fussy and I felt like sometimes by the time I pulled everything out to, you know, illustrate with you know the problem to my daughter she would be like six like like she already knew the answer and she was kind of like why'd you have to go through all that you know to do that but i totally get how it can be good for children who love learning like that who enjoy that kind of thing so definitely nothing wrong with that curriculum i just not something that worked for our family i think something a little bit more um on the charlotte mason side story based um is what's going to work for us um, after doing just tons and tons of research so um, today I'm going to show you a look inside and a little bit about Math Lessons for a Living Education by Masterbooks. So what originally drew me to this curriculum is the way that it teaches math through real life stories and situations. So it talks about on the back of the book, have you ever noticed that we tend to compartmentalize teaching children? Like in real life, there are artificial barriers between subjects. For example, when you're cooking or baking, you have to use the skills of reading, logical thinking, and measuring, just to name a few. In driving a car, you see road signs, maps, and count miles. It has become quite clear that there's an abundance of math curriculums available that are nothing but monotonous drill sheets dressed up in pretty colors. Um, pretty colors do not make a living book. Content, story, and the ability to show math in real life make a living book. So that's what drew me to it. I love that idea. So each lesson has a story that goes along with it where they're learning about some concept and then there's worksheets in between uh, the stories that help to reinforce the concept that they're learning. So let's take a look inside of the workbook. So opening up the book, we're going to see the scope and sequence. It goes over everything that they're going to learn um, this year. It says you use er, approximately 30 minutes per lesson, five days a week for 36 weeks. It does have an answer key for you online if you need it. Worksheets are included and it's designed for grade one in a one year course. Um, these, here's a list of the manipulatives that you need, very small amount, um, basic stuff. So I'm going to get those before we start. Um, they all, all master books, um, curriculums come with a suggested daily schedule. So if you're into that kind of thing and like to check stuff off, you know, and have everything, um, you know, with a due date and grade it and all that, then you certainly can do that. And so here we see where the adventure begins. So they're learning numbers zero through nine. After my daughter did the, uh, the Good and the Beautiful Level K last year, I do feel like this curriculum is a little, like it's a little easy for her. But when we took the course placement test for these um, math li lessons for a living education, my daughter wasn't quite ready for level two. So what I anticipate is that we will kind of breeze through at least the first quarter, maybe the first half of this book pretty quickly, reading all the stories and making sure that she has everything down. Um, and then when we get to the near the you know halfway point is when we can just really slow down and she can start really picking up these concepts that maybe she or that she needs to know this year. So um, here's exercise for day one or just tracing numbers, um, just reinforcing what they learned in the story. Love that it's like, you know, real pictures and counting pigs and counting puppies and you know, kids love stuff like that. Um, just more reinforcing the counting, which um, my daughter definitely has all this stuff down. So this is going to be way easy for her. So they said, we'll breeze through it and just make sure she has everything down pat. Addition. And we'll go to the back. They're gonna learn to tell time. They're gonna work on a place value. I think it even said some fractions too. Uh, 
of the math lessons for living education level one. I have not used this yet. Um, so this is not a review. It's just kind of a peek inside and telling you kind of what I like about it and what it, what makes me excited about using it this year for my daughter who's going into first grade. So I really hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, I would love it if you give this video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button so you can stick around for more videos. I like making videos about uh, like recipes and cooking real food recipes. I love DIY projects and home design. And obviously I'm a homeschooling mother as well. So there's a little bit of everything on this channel and I'd love it if you'd stick around um, for that. So thank you so much for watching today's video and I hope you enjoyed it. Bye.